Hi, this is Digital by Computing. I'm going to show you the easy steps on how to back up your photos from your iPhone or iPad onto your Mac computer. So we're running um, the latest Mac OS, all right, Yosemite on here at the moment. There is newer ones coming out, but that's the one that I'm running. And we're going to look at just the easiest way to get the photos off your iPad, off your iPhone and onto your computer. So you can copy them, you can save them, you can back them up, etc. Steps are pretty straightforward. Get your iPhone and plug it in to your computer via the USB cable that you would have gotten. So on the bottom of the, I, the iPod or, I, or iPad, uh, you've got the, uh, the lightning port connector on the bottom of the iPhone there and then the other end into the USB of your computer. You then got on your Mac, you've got iPhoto and the Photos app. Okay, you can access these. If you don't have them in your dock, you can access them through your Finder and inside applications. You wanna be looking for Photos or iPhoto. Okay, you'll be able to do it with either of the two. So let's open up iPhoto. You'll see that that has detected under devices, it's detected my iPhone here. And these are the photos that I have on my iPhone. All right, you can actually go into your iPhone and make sure that they are the same. They should be the same. And then it's a matter of just selecting those photos, saying import, or you can just say import 11, which in my case is all the photos. You can create an event name, you know, iPhone photos, etc. Create them and import. Okay, that is going to import them into your iPhoto library. Easy, piece of cake. It'll then ask you if you want to delete those photos from your iPhone or your iPad. Say yes if you want to, no if you don't want to. Other option is through the Photos app. There's a new feature on the new OS. Similar, you'll have an import tab and you'll have all the photos listed in there. Select the photos that you want, say import. It'll then import them onto your computer and then you can do with them what you like. So very, very straightforward. And that way you just ensure that you have all your photos backed up and that you'll never lose them. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing. Thanks for watching.